I am biased towards Xbox games, and I figured out why. It's not the reason people accuse me of being biased. Yesterday's state of play made it very clear why PlayStation is fighting an uphill battle. They just don't know it yet against Xbox, and this video is gonna tell you why. I finally get why people think that I'm a PlayStation hater. Uh, I'm not, never have been, but PlayStation to me, and I have to assume my response is not abnormal, is fighting an uphill battle at this point, and it's all because of Game Pass. And I don't mean it's because of Game Pass like, oh, it's a great value and it's a better value than PS Plus. It is a better value than PS Plus, at least in terms of new games. I like the new games. So if you value new games frequently, day one drops, Game Pass is a better value, but whatever. Because that's not really the aspect I'm even talking about. Uh, here, check check this out. This is the trailer from Helldivers 2, uh, which I think looks like a great deal of fun. Uh, I think they're charging too much for it, or if they're going to charge 40 bucks, they need to be giving three or four trials that come with that for like two hours so you can kind of entice friends to play with you and see if they want to buy it. But that said, though, I think this trailer for Helldivers 2 that comes out next week looks like a great deal of fun. And if this had been a game that they were promoting on developer direct or whatever they call it when they show new games on xbox i would have been much more excited and people would say well see that proves your bias well it it, it doesn't though it doesn't prove my bias like i like xbox more what i think it has revealed to me after thinking about it for a while is because i was like why would this make me more excited on that console than playstation 5 i like the ps5 controller much more than the xbox controller here's what it is though when you look at this on a, as an Xbox Game Pass day one drop, or even not day one, but let's say it's day one because it usually is, exclusive or not, I get more excited because it's free, quote, free, right? Which means my expectations for it are lower, okay? It doesn't mean my expectations when I play the game are lower. Like, there were, you know, Exo Primal, that Capcom game with the dinosaurs, that was free. Uh, there was the other dinosaur uh, thing where you drop down to planets. It was like Left for Dead with dinosaurs. I know that's what Exo Primal was too, but it was a little bit different. Both those were day one drop free on Game Pass. I played them both for about two hours, and then I never went back to them, don't give a shit. But but them being free, it's like, I think what I respond to and what I'm responding to when I would see something like Helldivers on Xbox would be, I kind of, that looks really fun. That looks like a fun trailer. You know, my mind's not blown, but it's kind of cool. Let's give it a shot. That's awesome. It's a good feeling to have, right? PlayStation, because they pretty much charge for everything regardless of this is 40, this is 70, whatever, they simply, with because Game Pass exists, and this is something I never anticipated, Game Pass having this kind of an effect, because Game Pass exists and you've been conditioned, or if you play on Game Pass, you've been conditioned that a game like this that just seems it could be brilliant fun, but it could also be like, eh, I don't want to pay for something like this. So the bar is raised for Sony now. If you're going to charge for your shit and you want me to be excited by it, or you want the customer to be excited by it, you've got to, you you know, you got to do better. And I don't mean that like your games are shit. There's nothing about this game that doesn't look like fun. It may not be the best game in the world. It may be the game of the year contender, but at a just, here's the trailer. Here's the marketing. You go, eh, okay, cool. It's, you know, all right, whatever. I mean, it looks fun, but you want to spend 40 bucks and get three friends that also want to spend 40 bucks just to play the fucking thing next week? I don't. I will because I have a stream and I'm going to stream it, but it, I, I'm. this isn't like I'm jumping through hoops to get this. And I think that carries over for a lot of their stuff. And that's why maybe people perceive my take as like anti-Sony. It's not that. They just, Sony has a higher bar to clear now. Any of this stuff, like you can look at Stellar Blade, which I think looks just amazing. But even this, I'm not like day fucking one. Um, I'm like, okay, well, if it gets good reviews, I'll give it a play, right? But there's plenty of games that are coming to Game Pass already day one that aren't this game, but they look really good and they look as good. And they're not first party Xbox games, but they're, you know, they'll do third party deals. Like I'm thinking of Lies of P or I'm thinking of, uh, uh, it's not Black Myth, but it's the other, it's like, whoa. I, Wulong or something. It looked as good as this did. Um, and I played it. It was too hard for me. I played for about four hours. And it was great, but I wasn't for me. So I think that's really what it is. If Sony's going to be charging for these games on day one, if you go in for production value only, then fine. Then, then they've got you. Certainly first party Sony is better production value than first party Xbox. And I think that's true for the most part in most titles. Not all, but most. But for me, it's not really about the production value so much is when I get excited seeing a trailer, it's like, oh, that looks cool. I want to play that. 
like this. Th out of all the games I saw yesterday, this was one of the ones that I said, genuinely, play-wise, I, I want to fuck around with this. This looks, you know, it doesn't look original, but it looks really cool and fun. So, like, even, like, Death Stranding 2, which I think people like, Jeff, he's hating on Death. I'm not hating on Death Stranding 2. I, I liked the first game. But it's a little slow for me, and Kojima's trailer is amazing, but I still don't really know why I want to play this when I didn't want to finish the first one. But anyway, that's just a thought I had, because I know a lot, of, it, it, I get kind of annoyed when people talk about, oh, Jaffe doesn't like Sony, and I'm like, no, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. I, and I think this, this, I wanted to share this. I think this is what it is. Game Pass, by being free, has lowered the bar in terms of what I'm willing to put to play for free because it's it's free right it's like i'll try almost anything but they've raised the bar in terms of what their competition has to do to merit me actually paying for a game and i don't think that's bad at an industry level but i do think it makes things harder for sony 